What's up you guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, my name is JJ and here on my channel we play with makeup and I am learning how to do makeup still, so if you came to see something amazing and wonderful and out of the box, well you came to the wrong channel because I'm gonna mess up. It's gonna be like a hot mess. So it is what it is. You can stay or you can leave. There's the door. So if you have been watching my videos for the past few weeks, we are doing a whole Pride Month collaboration each week I will be doing a makeup look inspired by the pride flag and every video for each week will be something new and we are learning about the gay community's history. Week number one we did the history of the pride flag and we did um, the colors orange and red and last week's video we learned about the Stonewall riots and we talked about the Black Lives Matter movement and the color was yellow and so this week we will be learning about Mr. Harvey Milk and we will be doing the color green. And if you haven't watched my last YouTube video click up here. Once again, I don't know how to put a link up here, so it's gonna be in the description box down below, so please watch my last video. Also, all of my social media will be linked down below as well. Follow me on TikTok because I just started using TikTok and I'm, I'm very funny. Go follow me on TikTok because I'm obsessed and I'm just addicted to using TikTok all the time. So as you can see, I've already primed and foundationed and concealed my face. So let me tell you what I have used. For my primer, I have used the Smashbox Pore Minimizer. I really like this one because whenever I put it on, it clearly blurs out my pores and it makes my face look, it's like very photo finished like it says. So I like this one. And in my last video, I told you guys right now, I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. My shade is in Toffee Caramel because I am brown. I'm a little dark because it's summer. I'm real tan. And the reason I got this is because all of the major makeup stores are currently closed and I don't want to buy it online and wait for it. So I've heard good things about this one. So I went down to the CVS, bought it, and I really like it so far. You guys already know I only do makeup for these videos. I don't do it for like an everyday looks and go out and about. So I couldn't really tell you if this is something that will last all day because I am someone who is super, 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 super oily. So it's really hard for me to find a foundation that can help with that. And yes, I've used Fenty. Even that is a struggle, like, I'm serious, you guys, like, it just shoots out of my pores all the grease. It's disgusting. And for my concealer, I use my Tarte Shape Tape. And for my eyes, I have used the P. Louise base. Um, a friend of mine gave this to me, and I was super excited and super happy. Um, I know they come in different shades and different colors. This is the one that she gave me. Honestly, I just use it. I really don't care. It's a lot lighter than my skin tone, so it definitely does make the colors pop. So with that being said... Let's get started. So for this week's video, we will be using the new Morphe Pride Collection. Honestly, because I know this week's color is green, I haven't opened this yet, so I don't even know if there's a green color in here, but I am going to hope so, because I haven't sat down and actually kind of practiced the look I'm going to do yet. I kind of just sat down and was like, do my hair, beat my face a little bit, and just start filming. So hopefully there's a green color in here. If not, I'm gonna have to go digging through my other palettes to figure out what I'm gonna do. And we're also gonna be using the brushes out of this set. And if you wait till the end of the video, there might be a giveaway. I don't know. And speaking of giveaways, I know I had one like two weeks ago. I did pick a winner for it and I completely forgot to post about it, but I did pick a winner. Her name was Sierra. Congratulations to Sierra. You guys, life is just crazy right now with everything going on, so I, I'm not going to be perfect at this, I'm sorry, but I did pick a winner for that, so stay tuned to the end of this video for another giveaway. So while I open up this palette, um, I am really trying to set up my fit a little studio here, and I actually got a new camera, so I'm super excited because I'm using it right now, and I used it for my last video, but you guys already know that I always have technical issues every single time I film a video, um, and I'm still having problems, but... I'm super liking this camera. I think my next setup is some more lights, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, ooh, that's fancy. Super holographic. I'm living for these colors and the way it looks. Um, I'm just gonna open this towards you guys and you guys can see it first. Hopefully this focuses. Ooh. Oh, look at those. How fancy. There definitely is a green in there. So I will have to go to another palette um, to, there was a protective thing in it, but it fell out. Um, there's. Definitely a green in there, but I'm going to have to go digging into another palette because there's only one shade of green in here. And it's um, a sparkly kind of green. And I don't know. I mean, I like sparkle, but I don't know if I want that for my whole eye. So I'm going to go try and find another palette to add some more green. Um, and then we're going to just open these real fast. These are just the brushes, the brush set. Again, holographic. And don't need that. And they all come in this. 
<laughs> and I'm super happy that I'm open. I'm doing these in this video right now because I forgot to clean my other brushes and I went to sit down and was like, oh no, I don't have brushes to use for this video. So these are came in handy. They're all holographic as well. Super cool. And hopefully they work for what I want to do. So we're gonna find out today. Okay, I need to figure out another another palette that's gonna oh god. And on top of it, this desk that I have, I got a bigger desk like months ago. And I just keep buying makeup, so now there's just like less room on here now. And I just I feel like I just need a new I need a new area. I need a new house. I need we need to move so I can have my own room. Cause I don't remember. I don't know if you guys know, I don't have my own room for this. I literally have this little corner in our studio that I film in. So I actually have like a little makeup video, studio tour video coming after these Pride Month videos. And you guys can see this little space that I'm working with to do all of this. What was I doing with my life? Oh yeah, palette, green, hello. Okay, so I found two more palettes that have some green in them that we will be using. So I have the Morphe X Jeffree Star palette and the last year's Morphe Pride palette. So we're gonna use all these three palettes to Come with a look, once again. I don't know what I'm doing. You guys already know, it's probably gonna be a hot mess, but here we go. I just want you guys to know how committed I am to doing these videos, because look, these are like all my notes on Harvey Melway. I even wrote them down and everything, just so I can remember, because there was a lot. So let me get myself situated here. All right, so the first color that I'm going to be going in with is from this Jeffree Star X Morphe palette. We're going in right here. This green color called Nate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pack this right into the lid of my eye, and that's as far as I know what I'm doing. So far, I, I feel like packing it first goes well for me. Um, so that's what we're going to do. So as I start packing this in, we're going to start talking about some Harvey milk. I don't know why, but so I primed my eyes and then I powdered them. I feel like when I powder them, the color, the pigment doesn't pop as much. Does anybody else have the problem or is it just me? Like, am I just crazy? Um, back to Harvey milk. So Harvey Milk was born on May 22nd of 1930 in New York City. <coughs> Ugh, excuse you, rude. So Mr. Milk played in his high school football. He sang in the high school opera. I think it was a high school opera. All I know is he did sing opera back when he was in high school. And he actually worked at the family business, which was a department store and it was called Milks. We're gonna go ahead and jump right into his college. He graduated college from the New York City College for Teachers in 1951, I believe it was. After college, Mr. Milk joined the US Navy. Um, I didn't know that. Well, then again, I didn't know much about Harvey Milk. Like I said, we're being honest, I really didn't, even though I live 30 minutes from the city, and when you go to the cash show, there's like a bunch of Harvey Milk murals and this and that. I didn't know. I mean, I knew he was some kind of gay politician of some sort, but that's, that's all I knew, being honest. Um, so after he graduated college, he went into the Navy and ultimately became a diving instructor. And the base he was stationed at was here in San Diego. So after he was in the Navy in 1972, Mr. Harvey Milk decided to move to San Francisco where he opened up a camera shop called Castro Camera on Castro Street. So Mr. Milk knew he was gay even in high school, but he usually kept his personal life pretty secret. So not many people knew about him being gay. So Castro Camera actually became very popular in the Castro and that's when Harvey Milk found his voice like as a leader and as an activist. I'm just gonna keep packing on this green until I, God knows mine. So I think I'm gonna leave it at that and I'm gonna buff it out with a different shade of green. Um, so we're gonna see how that goes. I'm starting to notice when I <laughs> combine colors um, they change colors. If you didn't know that, you know when you put one color and one color together, sometimes they change colors and they don't come out as expected. So let's hope that doesn't happen. So for this next shade that I'm going to be using to buff it out with, I am going into last year's Morphe Pride collection. Somebody's calling me. Hello? Can I help you? Can I help you? I'm filming a video. You called me first. No, I didn't. It said I had a missed notification for FaceTime from you. Why would I call you? No, why would you call me? No, I didn't call you. Hi, oh, okay. Okay, never mind, bye. Okay, bye. I forgot where I was at. Where was I at? Oh yeah, we're going into the Morphe palette from last year, uh, their Pride Collection, and let's see. We're gonna be going into this skin right here, Nature. It's a little lighter, so I think I'm gonna buff that 
Blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna use that shade to buff out just around the edges. Hopefully it doesn't go too terrible, but you guys are gonna know, it's my channel, it's probably gonna end badly. And I'm going in with the Morphe M506 brush. Don't know if that's a brush I need to use to buff it out, but it looks kind of fluffy and what I need, so we're just gonna do it. You know, at some point, I need to stop saying that I'm learning how to do makeup because I've been doing this for like over a year now. And I feel like I, there's a certain point where there's just no excuse. There is just no excuse anymore. So back to Harvey Milk. So in 1973, um, Harvey announced that he was going to be running for the San Francisco Board of Supervisors. So he ran and well, he lost. And as sad as that is, he ran again two years later and dun, 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 he lost again. But the second time wasn't as bad. They said that the second time he ran, he actually didn't lose by that much. So he was kind of getting closer to where he wanted to be. But by his second time around, he was already um, what they said was a political force. And he was an activist and a speaker for the gay community. And apparently he had really good political connections during this time, even though he lost the second time, he knew people. He knew people on the inside. He knew the mayor at the time, I think it was George Muscone, I think that's how you say it. And he also knew assembly speaker and future San Francisco mayor, Willie Brown, and future US Senator, Diane Feinstein. He knew all these people, so he had he had the connections. He knew what was up. So in 1977, Mr. Milk ran again, and lo and behold, he was elected. Yes, bitch, work. He was elected into the San Francisco City Board. And another little fun fact, um, in the Castro, he was known as, well, I don't know if it was in the Castro specifically, but in the gay community, he was known as the mayor of Castro Street. I'm really trying to get rid of this harsh line between the darker green and the lighter green, and it's really not working out for me right now. Blending is one of the hardest things for me. It's so hard. It is hot in here. I have the air on and everything. I run, like, I sweat. I sweat a lot. So now we're gonna get into the sad part of Mr. Milk's life. So the mayor, Mr. Muscone, that we learned about, he had, uh, like, a like a right right side man. Is that what they call it? Right side ran, man, right winged man. His, like, dude, that's like, that dude chills next to him, like, whatever he's called. There was a gentleman named Super, he was a supervisor. His name was Dan White. Well, he served in the Vietnam War, and he basically just was not about the gays and Mr. Milk and the gay rights and all of this blah, 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 blah. And basically saying that the morals of the city was go were going downhill. Um, stupid stuff, just really stupid stuff. So him and Mr. Milk really clashed on a lot of issues. Like they just had two separate sides, like very conservative and then there was Harvey Milk. So a year after Mr. White was elected into the office, he resigned saying that the salary he was receiving was not enough to support his family. And so he was a former police officer and a former firefighter. So when he resigned, a lot of the police force wanted him to go back. They kind of encouraged him to like not resign. They wanted him to go back. On November 27th, 1978, Mr. White entered City Hall with a loaded revolver. He was able to avoid metal detectors because he went through the basement. Um, apparently there was a, an open window for ventilation that somebody left open and he snug his way inside. So he didn't have to go past security and he went straight to the mayor's office. There they began to argue, in which they went to a private room so nobody would hear them arguing, and the mayor was shot three times. I lied, mayor was shot four times, twice in the chest and twice in the head. After shooting the mayor, he went down the hallway to Mr. Milk's office where he shot Mr. Milk twice in the chest, twice in the back, and once in the head. Soon after, he turned himself into police. Okay, the screen isn't looking that bad. I was able to kind of get rid of the harsh lines, but now I have to figure out how I'm going to incorporate the sparkly green. I might just put some on my finger and just like kind of dabble it in there. So this is where it gets, it gets crazy. It gets like real dumb. So his lawyer, sorry, let's rewind. So his trial, Mr. White's trial, after he murdered two people, um, sorry, I don't know if this sparkly green is really, kind of working, so we're just gonna kind of go with it. So Mr. White's trial became known as the, um, it became known as the Twinkie defense. So his lawyer tried basically argue that because of the loss of his salary, or like he wasn't getting paid enough to feed his family, blah, 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 that he turned to junk food, like Twinkies and sugary stuff, which in turn, like changed his whole diet, which in turn made him crazy to kill people. And what's crazy is the jury actually convicted him of voluntary manslaughter instead of murder. And I'm not really into like all this like 
real political stuff, but I feel like voluntary manslaughter is not as harsh as murder, if I am correct. So after that, he only served, this dude only served six years in prison. That's all he served for killing two people, just six years in prison. But, so after six years, he got out. Apparently it was mentally unstable and a year later he actually ended up committing suicide. So there's a little bit of sparkle in there. I just wanted a little bit. So that was the green from the Pride collection from this year. Hmm. It's not bad. I'm not mad about it. We're gonna, we're gonna leave it how it is. So to go back to the trial, so the downgrade of Mr. Wright's conviction clearly made the gay community upset. So they had a peaceful protest outside of City Hall, which turned violent. So 5,000 policemen were called and they entered nightclubs and bars and just caused a whole bunch of ruckus. And by the time this riot was over, 124 people were injured and 59 of them were police officers. So this time in history, which I didn't know anything about, is actually called the White Knight Riots. Look at me learning. I'm learning so much. You guys have no idea. I'm learning so much about the gay community and the gay history. Like, it actually excites me because, like I said, I didn't know any of this before I started doing this little project. And as I'm sitting here, like, looking at this eye, I'm like, oh, it's cute. I always, like... <laughs> I should always do my eyes first and then put the foundation on after because there's so much fallout now like on my foundation it's just like <laughs> irritating <laughs> so another fun fact in july of 2016 the u.s navy announced that they would be building a uh, tanker and it would be named after milk in his honor it would be called the unns harvey milk so san francisco politician scott weiner actually made a uh, like a speech uh, about the tanker that was being made for him and had this quote i have to read it off my ipad because i can't memorize it word for word so here we go um let's see so he said when harvey milk served in the military he couldn't tell anyone who he truly was now our country is telling the men and women who serve and the entire world that we honor and support people for who they are that's pretty cool i didn't know that i love learning I love learning. So those are our little fun facts on Harvey Milk and learning a little bit about him. Um, so obviously there's there's books and movies on Harvey Milk and one of the most famous ones is from 2008 and it's called Milk and it, he is played by Sean Penn. I personally have not seen it, but after doing this research and learning about this, I think I'm gonna go see it because I feel like I should, I need to. I feel like everybody should go see it. So with that all being said, those are our facts and our little gay history lesson on the gay community. So. I am going to go off camera. I'm gonna do this eye. I don't think I'm gonna put on a lash today because last week's lash, like, I need somebody to help me and it was just such a struggle. So I might just put mascara on and that's it. Put a little lip, maybe a little highlighter and we'll be right back. So we are back and I just went ahead and put on a lip. I just put on a lip gloss. I don't have anything that will go with this green. So I just went in with the Shane Gloss and Lip Gloss. That's all I did. Um, I just put on mascara. I have the Milk Mascara. Um, it is the Kush Mascara. It's the only one I own, so take it. It is what it is. Like I said, I didn't put on a lash. I do not have the time right now to fight with the lash because I can never put it on right and it's just a mess. I put on just a little bit of highlight and nothing crazy. And that's it. That's all. That's all we're doing today. So if you remember the beginning of the video, I think I said at the beginning of the video, if I didn't, well, I'm telling you now, I'm going to do another giveaway. So I got an extra of the, I don't know why I have the worst burps right now. I just don't understand. Um, I got an extra of the Morphe Pride palette, not the brush. I just got an extra palette. So I will be giving this away if you want to know all the rules and stuff go to my instagram i'm gonna post it on my instagram and i'll post it down below because as i'm sitting here i don't know when it's gonna end it could be a week it could be two weeks i really have no idea so make sure you check the description box or go to my instagram and it'll have all the details because by the time this video is up i will have already posted the giveaway information on my instagram you guys already know every week i have collabed with a new friend who is a makeup artist who are amazing at makeup like i said way better than i am and they do look also on the color of the week. This week's video is my best friend, Christina, and I'm going to pass it off to her soon. But before I do, make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with the world, all that fun stuff. I appreciate all of you that come and watch me sit here and just play with makeup, even though we don't do anything special here. I just like to sit in front of this camera and just play with makeup and I like to just mess up and I like to just joke around with you guys and all that fun stuff. A lot of these videos have been more on the serious side. I am somebody who likes to joke and likes to have a good time and just be a mess. Um, 
I really wanted to try and be funny in these videos, but I feel like a lot of them are serious topics or serious things to talk about. So I didn't want to get too crazy and just be a hot mess and be rude to these people that we're learning about and disrespect them. I know some of you might be used to me just being a fool, just doing just stupid things. So that's what like my TikTok and Snapchat are for, so make sure you go follow those. But we have fun stuff in the future. Even during the next, I have two more Pride videos left, I think, I think it's two. And then after that, I already have videos set up with like myself and other people. So thank you guys again so much for supporting me. That's why I do all these little giveaways, all this other stuff, trust me. I'm not made of money, but I somehow find a way to buy all this stuff to just give it away to you guys because it really means so much to me that you guys take the time out of your day to sit here and watch me do what I do. And I don't do anything that special. Please comment, share this post because I hear from so many different people like, oh my god, I love your videos and like, I don't ever know because you guys will never comment, you guys will never share it, you guys don't ever reach out, like reach out, just, it just feels good, it just feels good that people enjoy watching me. So please comment all that fun stuff thank you guys again i will see you on the next one but i'm gonna hand it over to my friend christina so deuces thank you so very much Juan, for including me into pride month by the way my name is christina my username on instagram is diva8462 and i was fortunate enough to be included in this wonderful video and my color was green and i'm so glad that i was able to get green by the way, I'm gonna bring you guys up close so you have an idea of what my makeup looks like. Dun, da, da, dun, da, 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 dun, da, da. So one thing I was shooting for when I decided to choose green was uh, making sure that I was able to not only do it first and foremost, but also to be able to create the look and um, other people are also able to recreate the look. Um, huge shout out, by the way, to the James Charles palette because this is exactly where I was able to use all of the greens and blend everything out super effortlessly, by the way. Um, now, in regards to his colors, one thing I definitely want everybody to know before you decide to choose his colors and to actually wear it is a little goes a long way. So if you are choosing to do something sort of similar to my look, just make sure that you start off just a little bit and everything will blend away beautifully. Um, so let me get into a little bit of detail in regards to why I decided to choose green. So one thing it definitely symbolizes to me is harmony and safety. Now for the LGBTQ plus family, one thing that I've realized and came to the conclusion about was how difficult your guys' lives have been and a lot of that has to deal with you know people that aren't accepting you know ridiculous religious people that aren't accepting or just you know people that are live down the street from you that aren't accepting and i just want all of you know to know that I appreciate you as a person and I also appreciate your honesty and being able to come out and just be you and just know that I will always send positive vibes and love and safety your guys's way because when it comes down to it we should be allowed to love who we want to love and just know that you are accepted and that you guys are loved no matter who you decide to love no matter who you decide to be. The only thing that I really hope that you guys decide to do is just be you. And I just wanna thank Juan once again for including me in Pride Month. And just know that if you feel like you need somebody to talk to or a shoulder to cry on, just know that my DMs are always available and you guys will fully have my support. I love you guys and thank you very much.